HTC recently outed a trio of low to mid range handsets with those same versions, predominantly for Asian and some European markets. This is Daniel from Phone Arena presenting you the top member of the batch, the HTC Desire 700, which flaunts set uh, to active SIM fun functionality, a large 5 inch display, as well as the boom sound stereo speakers that we recall from the HTC One and One Mini siblings. Will that list be enough to offset the otherwise unimpressive specs and pricing of the phone? Let's find out. The uh, Desire 700 is not exactly thin at 0.41 inches, 10.3 millimeters, but uh, it flaunts a very comfortable to hold chassis with its elongated, somewhat narrow for the screen diagonal shape that is comparatively easy to operate with uh, one hand. The glossy back cover is rather slippery though and attracts fingerprints uh, like a magnet. The frontal stereo speakers uh, also add quite a bit of height to the handset, so it is taller than your average 5 incher, which might become a nuisance in your pocket. The phone doesn't have a unibody construction, so you can remove uh, the whole brushed metal looking yet plastic uh, back cover here. Prying it off here at the bottom and uh, you can gain access to the two micro SIM card slots, uh, the memory card one and the battery, which can be easily swapped out without a, with a separate unit if needed. This is uh, very atypical for HTC handsets of late and uh, is quite a refreshing option. The build quality is overall very sturdy, leaving uh, a good feeling in the hand with uh, the side buttons, very easy to feel and press without looking. That goes for the illuminated capacitive keys uh, underneath the display as well. The 5 inch screen on the Desire 700 is with the Ho-Hum 540 by 960 pixels QHD resolution, which brings the pixel density down to 220 ppi. It isn't the best looking in terms of uh, detail definition on text, for example, but does the job fine. Colors are that colder than it should be and black levels are rather grayish. Brightness and screen reflectivity are enough though for decent outdoor viewing, unless the sun is shining directly on the screen. Overall the Desire 700 uh, isn't equipped with the most expensive panel around, but it does the job fine uh, if you aren't too picky. The phone sports uh, HTC Sense 5.0 overlay on top of uh, Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, while the flagships of HTC are now at Sense 5.5 and KitKat. This previous iteration of Sense has been used in a bunch of phones by now, starting with the HTC One and down to HTC's more affordable devices. The key feature of the skin are cleaner looks compared to all the HTC user interfaces and this Blink Feed news aggregator that brings together social updates and news in a flipboard style vertically scrolling. You cannot disable it in Sense 5.0, but you can put it in the rightmost home panel so it doesn't stand in the way if you don't like it. Apart from Blink Feet, HTC Sense uh, is characterized by its uh, charcoal color scheme that is not as bold and cartoonish as rival skins from Samsung uh, or LG. In terms of actual functionality, it is a mixed bag. We don't like that uh, oft used functions get uh, buried uh, quite deep in the menu, like for example a simple adjusting of the display brightness gets uh, buried here in the menu and also Adding a shortcut uh, to your home screen is uh, unnecessarily complicated. You have to drag it first in here and uh, it will appear somewhere on your home screens. On the flip side of things, uh, most core apps like the dialer and the messenger uh, look pretty good. As you can see, you can choose from which one of your active SIM cards to call here, slot 1 or slot 2 directly from the dialer. There's another version of this dialer that is not uh, full screen. You can disable the full screen. You'll still have the two slots to choose from. And go back to the larger numbers. The keyboard is great as well. After mixed feelings uh, initially, we found it uh, to be nice for its large and spacious keys that provide for some uh, awesome typing experience, uh, especially on this 5-inch uh, display of the HC Desire 700. One of the big selling points of the Desire 700 is that it supports uh, active dual SIM functionality, meaning that uh, you can get a call on the second card while talking on the primary one, but the faster up to 21 megabits per second download uh, can be perused on only one of the cards at a time. There's this app called uh, Dual Network Manager, which takes care of assigning your preferred SIM slot right here. You can rename the cards to your liking and uh, you can also turn the individual connections uh, on or off and set your preferred network. 
We have a 1.2 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 200 inside the Desire 700. This chipset sits uh, at the bottom of Qualcomm's food chain, so don't expect it to run asphalt 8 on all cylinders, for example. For daily activities, it is plenty though, and the Sense UI flies seamlessly around with just the occasional stutter between animations. HTC has equipped uh, the phone with 1GB of RAM, which should make you feel bogged down for more, yet you can line up tens of apps and expect fluid performance. So the phone itself limits you to 9 apps open at any given time before it closes the oldest one automatically. This i700 comes with just 8GB uh, of internal memory, of which about 4.7GB are user available only. But uh, it does have a microSD slot uh, under the battery cover, so you can add up to 64GB more if you wish. Let's check out the quadrant results here. We got 3469 points, uh, nothing really impressive. We had no issues browsing on the phone. Panning, scrolling and zooming were comparatively quick and without major hiccups. HTC even offers you the option to choose whether Adobe Flash is to be turned on or off on the current page uh, and made it easy to access uh, from the drop down menu, it's right here. In addition, the phone has uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, GPS, DLNA and uh, FM radio. And the HTC Connect app uh, takes care of wireless media streaming from your handset uh, to your home TV or stereo. Editing abilities are a staple for the HTC Sense Gallery. You can uh, add different color effects. You can retouch uh, straight on the phone itself and so on. Alternatively, you can make an HTC Zoe out of, of your photos and videos. It glues automatically your footage uh, and your pictures, adds color effects uh, and music for these uh, short artistic highlight reels that you can see here. And you can upload them on uh, HTC Share for the world to marvel. Music playback with this uh, stock player here is aided by automatic downloading of your album art, artist info and lyrics uh, where available. And you have the Soundhound uh, automatic uh, track recognition right here. You can get info on the artist, you can uh, buy the song or album itself and it will automatically recognize uh, what song you're listening to at the moment, for example. These two amplified uh, boom sound stereo speakers at the front sport excellent audio, strong and clear, they're becoming a trademark to immediately recognize an HTC handset from the sea of phones uh, with uh, mediocre speakers. The phone plays uh, MPEG-4, XVD and MKV files uh, up to 1080p resolution with no issues. Though for some reason the player isn't licensed for DivX video support, so you'd have to resort to the Play Store and install third-party apps to view such files. We have a DivX file here and uh, it won't play regardless of the resolution, so you have to download the MX player or any other good video player from the Play Store for DivX files. HTC equipped the Desire 700 with a good old 8 megapixel camera sensor joined by an LED flash sidekick for darker scenarios. Both the rear and the 2 megapixel frontal cams have backside illuminated sensors. The main shooter sports uh, f2.0 aperture. The camera app interface is one of the best features of HTC Sense as it offers the shutter buttons for pix and video on one and the same display. And it also sports uh, plenty of shooting modes like macro, night, backlight. We also have uh, HDR and panorama and uh, a bunch of color effects you can apply to your pictures uh, or videos. The scenes you shoot come out uh, a tad darker than they are in reality. You might also want to push the exposure slider up a level for better results or use the HDR mode, which comes out uh, about right. HDR takes too much time to process though, so it's not a solution for spontaneous shots. The photos support uh, accurate color representation as the hues appear quite realistic. The detail resolved is about on par with uh, what's expected from an 8 megapixel shooter, certainly more than the 4 megapixel Art ultra pixel camera actually on the HTC One, but less than the 13 megapixel and more units uh, on current flagships. Indoors in lower light environment, noise is kept in check and the colors look uh, accurate overall. The LED flash, however, does a poor job of illuminating the scene even 
at a 5 feet distance, which is uh, not that much at all. Video is recorded with uh, smooth 1080p resolution and you can snap pictures uh, while filming as well. It however got uh, recorded with uh, less than fluid uh, 22 frames per second on the cloudy day we were filming, uh, as well as indoors instead of uh, 30 frames per second. It also seems to skip frames while panning around and appears darker than in reality, so you need to nudge the exposure again for better results, uh, just like with the stills. In the market for a good dual SIM handset from a reputable vendor, then the HTC Design 700 should be near the top of your list as the handset sports uh, dual active SIM support mixed with uh, excellent call and audio quality, thanks to the Boom Sound stereo speakers at the front. Price ranges from $400 to $480 depending on the market, which puts the phone in direct competition with quite formidable handsets, uh, in this category at least. Chief among these uh, is the Alcatel One Touch Ido X, which can be had for $300 now, but flaunts a 5-inch Full HD display and 13 megapixel camera in a very thin and light body. It however has no microSD slot for expansion and is not an active dual SIM device. The Sony Xperia C is another 5-inch competitor priced a tad lower, but with less memory and inferior camera to the Desire 700 here. If you want the absolute best in dual SIM land, you might also want to consider the HTC One Duo, which, uh, however, will run into Benjamins more than the 700 here. Overall, even if there are better phones with dual SIM functionality in terms of specs, the HTC Desire 700 differs where it counts. It offers uh, expandable memory and swappable battery, has an excellent sound quality and a decent camera, which is also very fast. If you're willing to stomach a bit lower pixel density on the screen and a larger than average chassis, the Desire 700 is one of your best shots at a dual SIM phone at this moment for the price, of course. This was a video review of the HTC Desire 700 from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other handsets, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.